Mr. Ramachandran from the AIDMK is joining us in our Chennai studio. Rajiv Gowda from the Congress is joining us. Works very closely uh, with Rahul Gandhi in the south in Bangalore. Rajiv Gowda, Rahul Gandhi trailing in Amethi. The trend at this moment is that he's actually coming in at number three. Uh, Ra Rahul, as you've seen, the num it seems to be a very, very tight race in Amethi. So I'd say. Hold on, let's see how the day develops. No, but the fact that he's trailing, Veer Sangvi has a question for you, sir. Rajiv, yeah. I mean, I don't that know what will happen in Amethi. You're absolutely right. These trailings and leads keep changing. But the overall picture is clear. The Congress has gone down to its worst ever defeat. Rahul Gandhi led the party in the campaign. Lots of people like yourself came in, led the party. Do any of you, and particularly Rahul Gandhi, think it's now incumbent to at least make the gesture of offering to resign? Is that a question? To yes, me? Rajiv, yes. Gada, it is. Okay, sure, I got it. So, yeah. no, 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 this is certainly not a verdict on one individual. This is a right. verdict on 10 years of UPA governance. And in that sense, basically, I would only interpret this kind of an outcome as people's desire for something different. Okay. It's Let, not necessarily... Right. I, I accept uh, what you're saying. If you're saying it's a verdict, not just on Rajiv Gandhi, but on 10 yeah, years, or, or, or Rahul Gandhi, of 10 years of the UPA, we yeah. know that Manmohan Singh has resigned. Are you suggesting, therefore, that it shouldn't be Rahul, but Sanya should also resign? Um, can you if you're that? saying it's not just one individual, it's the entire UPA leadership, Manmohan is gone. You're saying Rahul should. So are you saying that Sanya should also resign? <laughs> that, that, that operative part of your question is missing. I can't hear that. Are you saying, if you're saying that it's not a verdict on one individual, which is not the song the Congress sang earlier, but assuming you're singing that, and it's a verdict on the UPA. The UPA really was the Congress President, Vice President and Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is gone. You're saying it's not the Vice President's fault. So what that leaves us with is you're saying that the President should resign. Not at all. Actually, what so the nobody President... Should resign. No, no, no. What you need to do in a situation like this is to say, look, after 10 years, the people have, have desired something different. Right? That happens all the time. India has seen anti-incumbency votes. Whether it's based on facts and track record is a different matter. It may just be a sentiment saying we want something different. So it's not, an, it's not any reason for anyone to resign and fall on their sword. It's really an opportunity to regroup, to essentially revitalize the party. The Congress is a party that exists and flourishes across the length and breadth of the country. It's time for our leadership to basically uh, you know, re reorganize the party and get ready for the next five years. So that's really what uh, we should be doing, not basically chopping heads off. Stay, stay with us for Shadra, you said a moment ago that India has voted for something different. That's undeniable. If you look at the leads that are available out of 524, 301 are going to BJP plus just 71 to Congress. If you accept that India has voted for something different, has the time come at least for the Congress party to formally concede you've lost this election? They do it in America. The losing person contacts the winner and congratulates him. Is it time for Sonia Gandhi to pick up the phone and ring Narendra Modi and say, congratulations, you've won? Uh, please wait for the day to unfold, for the results to unfold. And the Congress, which built the democratic traditions in this country, <laughs> will certainly reach out to whichever party uh, you know, leadership uh, needs to be uh, called when the time comes. Until then, let's just hold on. There's no need to jump to any premature conclusion. Rajiv, this is Tavleen Singh, and I just wanted to ask you that if Rahul Gandhi does in fact lose a Amethi, would you concede at least that the Congress party has been uh, ruined by dynastic politics? Because it's not just dynasty at the top, but most of your younger MPs are also from political families. Do you believe that that is something that needs to change in your party? See, dynastic politics is something that is across India. It has to do with who comes into politics and who doesn't, right? And if you see in every parliament, there are a lot of non dynasts compared to Dynas. However, here, if uh, a verdict comes out the way you uh, seem to think it would, um, I don't think it's any kind of a verdict on individuals. It's again, as I mentioned earlier, it's, you know, after 10 years, people are looking for something different. And they're doing this not necessarily on the basis of a track record, 
And so I really think that um, uh, timing becomes very crucial. If you lead a party at a time when people are looking for a change, well, then you may face the kind of outcome that seems to be developing. So it's not something that gets to the fundamentals of who you are and what you stand for. It's just you're, uh, you're there at the wrong moment. Rajiv, uh, this is just uh, on another note. Would you concede that attempts to isolate Muslims and to polarize them have not helped the Congress party. In fact, the anti-BJP forces, the Muslims have taken 50% of the so-called Muslim seats have voted for BJP. So would you say your attempts to polarize have failed? Well, actually, the attempt to polarize was not on our part. It's on the part of the BJP and Amit Shah and others. And looks like that has succeeded. It, has, it seems to have succeeded in getting the Hindu majority to vote in one particular way rather than in another. No, so, it doesn't so show in, that. So if that. The Muslim if seats. That, if no, that, we are talking yes. about the Muslim seats. That's How right, but the Muslims are not. But Tavlinji, Muslims are not majority in those seats. They are significant in number and okay. they can influence the outcome.